hello everyone welcome to yet another tutorial on ios and in this tutorial we'll be looking at which i personally like is animations in ios animations make your application you know very responsive very good and it adds an extra wow factor in your application uh, in this tutorial we'll look into any animations of your table view cell uh, in this tutorial what we'll look is like how you can animate your table view cell like when you add a cell uh, give give them some kind of animation so that it looks you know good in behavior and as well as when you delete it so let's jump into xcode and see how we can we can do that so i'll create a single view application let's say it as table cell animation next we will save it on disk okay so i'll save it somewhere here okay i'll click uh, i'll quickly uh, create the table cells uh, we'll be using a detail a subtitle a table cell here which is a default cell which comes in ios i'll just drag and drop a table view i'll click quickly uh, cover this up so that we can jump into the animation part as soon as possible I'll align the table view to all the edges and then I'll put a table view cell over it I'll give this cell as a subtitle cell okay also what I'll do is I'll embed this into a navigation controller okay. now when you embed it into a navigation controller there is an issue here when your cell starts from slightly from a bottom okay so for that to be fixed up what you need to do is you need to uncheck the extended edges in your view controller that under top bars and under bottom bars so this will fix that issue okay now since we have all these things let's add the outlets so what i'll do is i'll call it a subtitle table view okay and one more thing what we'll do is we'll add the navigation buttons as well okay so what i'll do is i'll give the title as list here okay and i'll get i'll add bar button items okay. So here I'll add a power button item. So one will be a delete power button item, and another would be a add power button item. Okay, so let's add the outlets for these two as well. Okay, so it will be action delete item. I'll name it as delete item. Type will be a UI bar button item for add. I name it as head item. Okay. So this completes our UI. Now, okay. let's quickly add some variables to show in our table view. So I'll say title heading as a string array let's see give some names here
single have an array for subtitle heading as well let's say it will display a age of person Okay, right. Let's quickly add the table view delegate methods as well, delegate and data source methods as well. I'll use extensions for those. Number of rows in section. This will return the number of rows we need which will be one count of one of the arrays we'll give an identifier to the w cell i just which i just forgot so this is cell what i'll do is equals to table view dot dq As we are using a default table cell, and what I'll do is text level dot text as title heading, and then index part dot row and cell dot detail text level dot text as subtitle heading index path dot row and this will let me return the cell so this completes our table view let's run the application and see what is getting displayed okay oh yeah I missed one thing is assigning the data source and delegate methods to the view controller let's run that I mostly forgot that so bear with that let's play it again hopefully it should be displaying the table view correctly now Tada! yes okay so this is a normal subtitle table view which we have used now let's see how the animation will work okay so for that what we'll do is we'll write some code in add item and delete item bar button item methods okay, so let's go index path index path dot net with the row is zero. What we'll do is we'll display we'll perform the animation for the first row itself, like delete at the first row or remove from the first row. Insert or delete on the first row.
on delete what I'll do is title heading dot delete remove with zero subtitle heading dot remove at index zero and then what we'll do is we'll reload the rows of our table view. So what I'll do is subtitle heading sorry subtitle dot reload rows at index path so that will be our index path and the UI table view and animation would be towards the left let's say division is going towards the left in the same way what we'll do is for add we'll add a new item to it will be insert yeah so let's say I'll add a monitor at index 0 subtitle heading dot insert at index 0 now what I'll do is subtitle a table view dot reload rows oh sorry it, it won't be reload rows for delete what we'll do is dot delete rows at index path is whatever index path going to delete and that will be left animation and for add it will be dot insert rows at index path whatever index path we want to insert it and the animation we are giving it right okay right so let's play the application and see how the animation looks like. Okay, so let's add add a new cell. So see how the animation is coming. When I delete it, see how the deletion is going on. I think the sequence is not in the right format so I'll just change it the sequence and then I think we'll be able to see in a better way okay now let me add it so see how it's, it looks so good and when I delete the way it's removed from the row the animation so this is how a cell we, we can animate the cells in our table view uh, I'll, I'll be coming up with more animation series on this thanks for watching